Hi, welcome to this video. In this short video, I would like to explain about gear pumps. A gear pump is a device for basically pumping a fluid. Generally, we use gear pumps for pumping uh, fluids of high viscosity. So we can define it as a rotary gear pump is a positive displacement type pump. The function of a rotary gear pump is to study or to supply lubricating oil under pressure to the various parts of an engine for their intend, intended functions. So they are used in IC engines for supplying lubricating oil to the engine. But these gear pumps are also used in other kinds of processing or process industry. In an IC engine, the gear pump or oil pump is generally located inside the crankcase below the lubricating oil level. So here you can see an example of how the gear pump looks like in an assembled form. So you can see this is the shaft. Uh, this shaft is basically rotated by an external power and the gear pump is inside. It has inlet and outlet. So in parts you can see this. These are two gears. So one is the driving gear another is the driven gear then the main uh, gear housing so these gears will be inside these housing parts and front end plate of from this side and another rear end plate from this side so this is the this is a very very simple way of actually producing high pressure in liquids so from the inlet and from the outlet and these gears actually mess together inside so the driving uh, gear is rotated while the driven gear basically messes with the with the uh, driving gear and they function so these are the bushings because to support these shafts at two ends you need these bushings so they are they are made of brass and also it has got this kind of pumps will have seals uh, for example, the stuffing box and uh, the glands to ensure that the liquid doesn't leak out from these bearings. These bearings are general bearings. So figure 1a to figure 1d. So I will show you the figure in a minute. Illustrate the key details of a rotary gear pump. The lubricating oil is transported from inlet to the outlet side by entraining it in spaces between the gear teeth and the casing and carry it around the gears from the suction to the delivery side. So let's look at the uh, schematic sketch. So for, for example, this is another gear pump where you've got two gears here and one of the gear which is the driving gear is connected to a shaft and the power is being given through a motor here in this case. So here you can see the how the gears will mess together and this is the exploded view and this shows the functioning of the gear pump. So this is the inlet, the oil inlet from this side and in this space between the two teeth here the oil or any kind of fluid will be taken from here and actually physically transport, transported. During this transportation, there is uh, the clearance is very, very small between the gear uh, teeth and the casing. So there will be no leakage. And this fluid will be brought to this end. Similarly, from this side, the fluid will be brought to this end at this point. Here for this fluid, there is no way the fluid can go back or even leak out from this gap because this gap is very very small so therefore this liquid will be at very high pressure and this liquid will be exit will exit from this end so there is an inlet and there is an outlet so inlet is at low pressure outlet will be at high pressure so the pressure in this kind of uh, pump can be raised as high as 200 atmospheric pressure so one atmospheric pressure is um, in a mercury uh, column you can say 76 centimeter so this can the pressure can rise up to 
200 or more than 200 atmospheric pressure so very very high pressure this kind of pumps are used basically to increase the pressure um, and uh, it doesn't work for very high throughput so rather this is used for very high pressure for creating very high pressure so here you can see the animation so this is the inlet oil or any kind of fluid is coming from this side and then it is being transported all the way here and here there is a extremely high pressure and the outlet so this kind of pumps can also be used in a process industry for for example for mixing two fluids together but generally it is used as a pump and this is very very uh, simple design very compact so they are very very useful for various applications and as i said this is used in ic engines another sketch here so here also you can see that these two gears are rotating in this direction fluid is being transported and it is brought here creating very high pressure and the fluid is discharged here so this is the simple functioning and uh, some other pictures also again you can see the same thing basically um, the fluid is being transported in these gaps between the between two teeth and it passes through so it is very important that there is no leakage either between the teeth and the casing or here when the teeth meshes together as well as there should be no leakage at this point or rather uh, near the shaft shaft and the bush because there pressure can be high and the fluid can actually uh, leak from there so that will reduce the efficiency of the pump this is the exploded view you can see the the drive shaft so this is connected to a power drive for example a motor the seal is here so this seal is basically to prevent any liquid going out of this uh, this um, the bush or the bearing and this shaft is connected to the drive gear the the drive gear or the driving gear actually messes with the driven gear so they rotate together and this is the the packing seal which is basically a rubber material and the end plate here on this so end plate is bolted to this one the gear is all inside so this is the, the very very simple design and uh, the exploded view of a gear pump so if you will look at the power so power in from the rotating shaft will be given as torque multiplied by the rotational speed so this rotational speed can be converted into 2 pi n and the torque divided by 60 so this is the power being given to the pump now there will be losses the losses are basically frictional losses in the bearing the journal bearing and the viscous effect the viscous losses because we are dealing with viscous fluids so there will be some heating of the uh, the fluid so that will be another loss so so power out can be given as the change in the pressure multiplied by the throughput or the volume discharge which should be equal to power in minus the power loss because of frictional or viscous effects and we can say that this is equal to the torque multiplied by the rotational speed minus p loss so this is the way we can calculate how much power loss or power output and if we know the power input then we can find out the efficiency so efficiency of the pump is actually power output divided by power input so generally we can achieve up to 85 percent of efficiency for this kind of pump so applications common gear pump applications includes various fuel oils and lube oils as we discussed in ic engines the chemical additive and polymer metering so this is very useful for metering because this gives a very uh, fixed amount of volume uh, transfer so therefore they are good for uh, metering chemical mixing and blending so although it is a pump but you can use it for mixing and blending two uh, viscous fluids industrial and mobile hydraulic applications and acid and caustic um, uh, fluids for example uh, acidic fluids or caustic fluids which are quite 
um, harmful for uh, human health. So they can be handled with this kind of pumps. Low volume transfer or application. So as I said, this, this kind of pump gives very high pressure rise, but the volume or throughput can be smaller. So advantages, uh, high speed, so that depends upon the speed of the, uh, the pump, high pressure, uh, no overhung bearing loads, and relatively quiet operation because of the, the gears. Design accommodates wide variety of materials, so we can use many kinds of viscous fluids, basically. Disadvantages, four bushings in liquid area, so bushings can, um, can lead to uh, leakage. No solids allowed, so only we can deal with fluids and fixed end clearances. So these are the materials which are used for making different parts of the, the gear pumps. So head, head, casing and bracket, uh, ductile iron, steel, stainless steel, different kinds of steel alloys, the shafts carbon steel, stainless steel or alloy steel. So this all depend upon, depends upon the kind of materials we are handling. If we are handling corrosive materials, then we should use stainless steel. The gear themselves are made of cast iron, carbon steel or stainless steel, as well as some plastics can be used for making gears. Bushings, carbon, bronze, silicon carbide or needle bearings. So silicon carbide will be used for corrosive environments because ceramics are very resistant to resistant to any kind of corrosion shaft seal so packing materials the leap seals mechanical seals these are mainly used um, to ensure there is no leakage and they are made of uh, generally made of rubber or some other kinds of materials so this shows the sectional uh, view of the assembly. So you can see the, the shaft here, the two gears and uh, the inlet and the outlet which are here. And the side view, you can see the right side view. So this is the, these are the two gears which mesh together, the inlet and the outlet here. And this is another uh, sectional view of the gear uh, gear pump so you can see this this is the, the the gear housing here the shaft in and uh, the various various parts of the housing here basically the gear part you can see the gear and the shaft and this is the the flange which is attached to the shaft with the help of a key Keyway, you can see the keyway is here, and the key is made here on the shaft. So this is a uh, this is the flange which is connected to the shaft, and this flange will be connected to the power um, power input device, for example, motor. So this is all. So so we have learned about the gear pumps, which are basically rotary machines for increasing the pressure of the fluid from lower pressure to high pressure, so that this can be Transport, transport it further to other processing um, processing parts. For example, in IC engine, the lubricating oil can be transported to other parts of the engine. Uh, the gear pumps can also be used for um, blending high viscous fluids in uh, chemical industry, for example. So thank you very much for uh, listening to this video. Thank you.